and that's all we need to do here. Let's copy paste this into else statement. So if waves are running is true here in the else part, um, we're going to set the name of the leaderboard. Oops, we don't need to change that to just wave. So it's going to tell us our current wave and make sure you put a space after that to wave and it's going to be a conversion again and it's going to convert this time the current wave number. So when there was no waves running, we're going to count down the timer and when waves are running, we're going to do just this. And let's save that. So um, I think everything is set. Um, so it'll run the first wave. Should run that wave. Make that. Um, yeah, a unit dies. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and test this. I have no idea uh, what's going to happen. Okay. We have everything good. Our leaderboard's there. Oh, we don't have a build thing there. No build. As you can see, I forgot to add the uh, the build thing in the data editor, which I predicted there would be a data editor problem. First thing to fix is that um, we were... Uh, where, where is it? Uh, losing condition. We were ending the game for the wrong player. End the game for player one. And I probably should have caught this earlier. Um, next we want to uh, go into our data editor. And I can't believe I forgot this, but our builder in his build does not have the right thing here. Uh, where is it? Um, command card. Okay, so in our command card too, we don't have anything in here, so our thing wasn't showing up properly. And what we need to do is just take a warp and photon cannon, that's fine, and set the ability to no, no requirements, but build and to warp in our basic cannon. Save it, and let's go and test it again. Okay, so the wave's starting in five seconds, so I better build quickly. Oh, it requires a forge. Uh, as you can see, another data editor prone mistake. Um, I should go into info here, I believe, and warp in basic cannon. I can't believe I made this mistake, but requirements, ugh, there's my problem. I need to get rid of that requirement, so um, I believe the way to do this is to um, hold on this is me learning the data editor here um, to make it so it doesn't require anything let's see where could that be uh, hmm requirements no, I don't want... Oh, there we go. A little tiny X there. Okay, should be starting... Oh, okay, so, you can see our waves coming. Um, see our leaderboard. We've got a builder here. Warp in, and we got our photon cannon, a.k.a. our basic shooter. So you see it built quickly. And, like I said, there's a model problem. However, it's working, and we get defeated. So, that's good news. You'll want to go back to the uh, data editor here. And uh, in here, what clearly happened is that our basic cannon had a model issue. And like I said, it would happen. Uh, the model in here, there is the problem. Little thing like that. So we want to make it a photon cannon. I thought I already set this, but I guess not. Okay, um, so everything's good, hopefully now. Um, build warp and photon cannon aka our basic shooter and you can see it's doing the damage to these guys 35 damage like we set and it can't handle it so um, let's go make it a little bit easier um, let's go to our trigger editor and let's set the first wave um, to be a little bit later like 12 seconds, so we have some more time to build. And let's give our starting minerals um, as two. And the other thing I want to do, which I believe I didn't do, 
um, is right here. Is I forgot to uh, I forgot to set to wait it wait amount of time. Other, otherwise, it makes the thing right after right now, and we want to wait. Conversion convert integer to real, and this is our variable set time until I mean time until wave. So now that should be a bit better. So it'll run it after that amount of time. Um, now hopefully this will be good. Okay, let's grab the builder. Now we build our basic cannon. Um, I didn't change the tooltip, so it still comes up as photon cannon. Um, yeah, so that's give us more time. We got two now, and they're cranking away there. All right. And next wave and thing. I should probably make a message that pops up too, um, so that you get a note. There's the zerglings wave two. That was a little even easier, maybe. And next wave is coming, and I have ten kills, so three in there, seven in there, and we can build. We have a lot of money actually. I should probably be building. Um, our builder can run through them, which is good. Uh, actually, maybe not. Oops. Well, there's some radius stuff you got to set with the model and the actor and all that stuff, so um, that'll require some more work. Next wave. Uh, I think the next wave was the ultralisk wave. Better build some more. See, he can go. Th he can go through the towers if you do that. It's weird. Um, oh boy, these guys are tough. And succeeded. So that's it. It's gonna have an error now. And let's get out of here. So our uh, our tower defense is pretty much working. I mean, and I haven't done any custom waves or anything, but some little touches which I'll just show you is that um, what you can do in here, if you wanted to show like, oh, the player, so the player knows that they just got a kill, um, you can create a text tag, which is a little text that appears. Um, so let's do plus one. You could do uh, direct. Uh, value whatever this value is here if you wanted to add four you could make it the value of some a variable you're adding instead of just one each way um, for all players it's fine 24 at position of triggering unit yeah um, height offset maybe 1.5 and you do so what this will do is that it'll say plus one when you kill a unit and uh, you also want to have it disappear eventually so you go to um, set the time, set the duration of last grid text set to maybe four seconds, so they can see it because it, it'll fade out pretty fast. Four seconds because of the um, faster game mode that StarCraft 2 uses. Um, you want to do that, and as well, uh, one thing I mentioned in that when in that final test there was that um, when the wave is over, uh, you, when the wave is over in here, what you might actually want to do is display uh, uh, where is it text like a, a message to the player I think it's under uh, hold on hold on uh, text text message under UI yeah you want to send a um, I don't know wave complete sort of thing so combine text I don't know wave space and then do another combined text so now we have three wave um, and we want to do a conversion here wave a variable current wave number actually you'd have to do a arithmetic because you want to do current wave number plus one because current wave number Wave number zero is wave one because of the way that we have the variable set up here. So wave zero plus one is wave one, which makes sense. So wave blah 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 space complete. And for all players, the subtitle area is good. That's the bottom of the screen, and it'll fade out on its own. So yeah, that's it. And uh, I guess from this simple sort of demonstration, well, not simple. It took took almost an hour, but. Um, from this kind of demonstration, you can see how you could go further and, you know, add it, perhaps add an ability in the data editor to sell towers um, somehow through here and add your own cust more towers. Um, it's really time consuming to go through that all, but um, I imagine once you get it down, it's a lot quicker. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.